Hello, the game has started. It's my opponent to go first. I've got a promising looking rack. Not seeing a seven, I would have poitrine onto an E and pointier. So, do I really not have a seven? Nothing has come to mind. So what if opponent changes? Well, I guess a player point would be reasonable, getting the P doubled. I normally prefer shorter plays, but the only candidate shorter play I can see is POI, and that keeps INRT, which is quite vulnerable to duplication of a consonant. Now, opponent does not supply an E. Let me consider the other floaters. No bingo with a J. What about an O? I've got the Ishan ending. Not seeing anything with that. What about an L? No. And how about a T? There, there could be one here, but I'm not seeing it. Just dwelling on L and T. No. So what am I going to do? I think try and get value from the J. I can do that with Poi, keeping a decent rack leave. It is vulnerable to duplicating these consonants. However, I don't have a better option on offer. Jolt takes an S and a Y. I have neither. Joltings may be good, but I don't have... Well, I don't have that. And I'm not seeing any other extension of Jolt. So, is this the play? No, I don't think it is. What about Topai? It's more points and the rack leave is, I think, less vulnerable to duplicates. I am going with this. Great, I have Errings, Ringers, and, and Surring, possibly Re-Rings, possibly Gurners. But anyway, plenty of sevens on my rack, and at the moment, Jolt is available for an S hook. What if that is taken? Do I have anything in row J? Yes, because Ringers plays Jaw, Ops, and TE. Fantastic. I don't may be able to block both, but I think it would be jolly hard. I think that would require a play in column 10. Okay, so opponent plays 78 points. That's a shame. It's always nice to get your bingo down first because now it means I'm playing catch up. So column 12, I think the best spot. However, there is a double double lane in column five. Re-rising is good. So I do have a double double. I'm not sure it's scores more than the column 12 play, so let me check. This is 86. And this is 81, so the double-double is better. Re-rising for 86. And I've created a super hot X spot and dodged the X. So what do I have? I have I have S's, which are good. So overall, this is quite a good set of seven random tiles. I'm wondering if there could be a bingo here. It looks jolly close. I'm not seeing a seven. What about the T? Oh, wow. Back to back bingos for opponent. That's painful. And they may not have had one if I had played in column 12. So, back to consideration of my own rack. This rack plus a T, so I would have the I-E-S-T ending. No bingo there. 
What about the R? Pessary plus an I. Not seeing anything. How about the G? No. And a few other floaters, but nothing's coming to mind. So, what can I do with this rack? I don't want to hang on to P or Y. Oh, an opponent's play of virgins has taken out the jolty spot. How galling. LIP is good. So I've got yips here. 32 points. Maybe worth playing the E to make yipes. Alternatively, I've got pays for 26. So the Joey spot certainly better. What about row H through this I? And what about Epistacy as a bingo? Is that good? It's Void Challenge. So let's find out. And it's good. Unbelievable. Good grief. I have no idea where that came from. But I'm jolly glad I saw it. And look at this for a pick. Fantastic. And I should have slowed up to see if there were any other floating T's on the board. I can see now that there aren't. But wow, fantastic. So I trail by just eight points and I've drawn the X. And look at this rack. If I'm able to play my X there next turn, I'm going to leave a monster of a rack leave. Now my X can also go next to this I, but I don't have a vowel for going in front of the P or a vowel for going after the X. So X, I and X, U would both have played. I have neither. X and X are good on my rack, but they don't work with the P. So will opponent leave this E alone? They must be drawn to this triple word square, surely. And do I have a bingo here? X, E, D, R is good. This may be, so I do have a seven on my rack. This may be the sort of rack where it's better not playing the bingo, even if one is available. Great opponent does play in column one for less than 40 points. So I think just simply playing X here, keeping this rack leave is better than any bingo I might have. If there is a bingo available, I think at best it's going to be equivalent to this play. And the reason this play is so good is that X scores 52. And this rack leave, well, the blank's worth 25 to 30. And every other tile improves it. So this is a 40 to 45 point rack leave. So this is a, a 90 to 100 point play. Taking into account score and rack leave. So it's the equivalent of a bingo scoring that much. So, anything better? I don't think so. And that's a pretty good pick. With the blank as an I, I have retained the best successor set in Scrabble, so surely I am bingoing. But where and where is best? Bottom left still available as a triple word square, so opponent may be opening access for a row O bingo. They don't. Oh, wow, 52 for opponent. That's a shame. And look at this. I still trail. But if I'm able to bingo now, I will establish a slender lead. So I have Starned in row K. I have Tyrand. Interesting. Tyrand for 77. Doesn't set up very much for opponent. Although this is a hot four letter set. But I don't think I mind that because there's a hot column one spot available. 13 minutes on my clock. Am I going to score much better than 77 with this rack? I don't think so. The J is contributing or Joey is contributing 10 extra points for my score. My rack is only worth about eight points. 
seven points. Yeah, so I think Tyrand is the play. And pretty good. Again, no, no bingo here, but for seven random tiles, this is decent. It's a decent balance of, of vowels and consonants. And I've got scoring tiles, and I've now got a small lead. Is opponent going to slow down? It's possible they won't. Row, row L looks like a spot for 30 odd points. Great. Well, 36 for opponent. But my creation of a second hotspot works to my advantage because I'm able to, to play in this spot. Just pausing in case there's a bingo here. V-I-R-G. No, there's the weed ending, but with O-C-A I'm not seeing anything. Jolt extensions have gone. Joey extensions don't exist. So coming back to this spot, I do want to get the W under the E. Still 30 tiles left. Wow, long way to go. So I have Ode here, which doesn't provide access to column 15, does score over 30 points. Pretty decent rack leave, goes well with the R. And the T of bought. Yeah. So is this the play? Let me count the remaining vowels. 17 out of 37, it's a balanced bag. But duplicate A's and E's are not problematic. These are bingo-y vowels. Okay, I am, I am going with this. And more scoring tiles, so not a bingo, not a bingo rack, but a decent rack. I can use A's and E's to play off the scoring tiles and still retain A's and E's. C and H goes well together. What would be troublesome would be if opponent were to bingo now. What do I have in row M? That's quite a hot three letter set. H can go underneath N-O. What goes under D-E? Just a vowel. So I think M double E is the best I can do here, which doesn't leave a good rack leave. What about column three? 29 for opponent, they just haven't slowed up. Just four points between us. This is going to be a close one. Still the queue to come and a couple of U's. So OS takes E, AY takes E. That's not helpful. No S's to come, interesting. So, I could play A, M here, or A, M, E. 32 points is decent, only an S goes after Diva, so all that's available at the bottom is for opponent to play off a couple of tiles, which isn't going to score massively. I don't think the W can go there, and the F. Could be 30 or 40 points, but I'm getting 32 points, which is good. I'm also keeping a very good four-letter set, which goes well with the T, goes well with the R. Yeah, I am minded to play this. Is there anywhere else I can get 30-odd points? Just wondering if I should play off more tiles in row N. I could play Cham, but Cheem not good, so I can't get the C tripled, which would provide a much bigger score. I am going with this. 
So, this looks not bad, but is there anything here? Not seeing anything with the T. What about the R? That was the other tile I had my eye on. No. I've got I and N for ing, but the play can't end with ing. What about the V? Achieve plus an N. Wow, I don't have a bingo here. But pretty decent tiles. What's opponent going to do? I lead by 27, so at the moment I have the tempo, which means opponent can make an average play and draw level, but then it's my turn and I can re-establish a lead. I have Haven. Interesting, I have Haven, and then I've got the C for going in front of the H, although it has to be said that vowels can also go in front of the H. But Haven's going to be a decent score, it's close to 40. Well, opponent did have the W, so 40 points was the worst that could happen. Haven, 38 points. This is going to re-establish my lead. Opponent could have a QU play in row A. Queener, for example. But look at this, only one E to come. No S's. And although there, there are scoring spots in row A, there's more than one. There's the middle and right triple word square. There's also column 13. Is this the play? Eight minutes on my clock. Let me put this back. Is there any D for Hacienda? Any floaters I haven't considered? Op, lie, I, already considered G. Anything down the bottom? T, Chichi plus an N. No, not seeing anything, and I do like the points for Haven, 38. So, well, not seeing a bingo here. I don't think in faced is good. Canfield would be good through an L. F is pretty non-bingo-y. Defiance through an E. Nothing with the T. What about the R? No. Although that looks jolly close. But what's opponent going to do? Still quite a few scoring tiles to come, B, H, K, M and Q, so it shouldn't be too difficult for opponent to score in row A. Four O's to come. Now floating N available. That doesn't give me anything. If opponent does play in row A, there's a triple word, triple letter square, which I may be able to score off. What have I got top right? Well, I have FAD. 27 points and, wow, but a pennant does keep scoring. They burnt a U, so probably didn't have a Q, otherwise they'd have played QUA. Let me count the remaining vowels. 7 out of 16, which sounds a lot, but most of them are O's, and this U. I, I, I wonder whether I've just been making plays which have gifted opponents scoring spots. I'm just thinking about AIM and HAVEN. But we'll consider that in the review to come. I trail. I trail haiku. And you were both 40 point plays. Ah, oh, I, I do have a seven. Does it play? Yes, it does. Unbelievable. I have fancied. Good grief. That nearly eluded me. Fantastic. 92 points. I would have been just sick of the dead dog's dinner if I'd have missed that. Wow. 
fancied. Is there anywhere else on the board for it? No, I don't think so. Here we go. And I dodged the Q. And I have the U. So suddenly, the complexion of this game has changed. After opponents two 40-point plays, they had the whip hand. They had a lead of 20 or 30 points. And they had the tempo. But bingos are what you need to disrupt tempos. And that's what I had. Now, opponent may certainly not bingoing with their rack. What do I have? Moldier onto an R. Not in the right spot. I don't think that has an anagram. What about the N? No. What about the T? Oh, I thought I had turmoiled for a moment. So, opponent plays 21 points. I lead by 50. And this game is won. So, how best to see this out? I guess, well, I, opponent is surely going to be stuck with the queue. Or are they? No, they're not. Look at this. There's chi, there's chi with the eye of re-rising and also with the eye of virgin. So, I certainly don't have the option of slow playing, by which I mean playing out one tile at a time. So opponent is going to play Chi. Therefore, I think my best option is to go out in two. What's the best way of doing that? Let me see what Dome scores. 36 points. ILU doesn't look hope hopeful. But opponent's going to be playing Chi. In which case I then have a glue. Do I have a second out? In, yeah, I have Igloo through the G and Tattoo. So, yeah, I think this is the play. Yeah, Dome for 36. Igloo has an anagram of Ugly, which may have been removed from the dictionary. It was certainly good at one point. Removed from the word list, rather, not the dictionary. But in any event, one of those two is good, and they both play in two spots on the board. Except for Ugly, which doesn't play in Roel, but it's Igloo, which is the one I'm more sure of. So, opponent has Chin in row H. And I didn't look for other options for opponent's Q. Having seen two eyes, but I think those are the only options. Wow, that fancied play, I just didn't see it for so long. But it's one reason not to rush into moves. Your subconscious can be ticking away in the background while you're waffling or trying to find something. And then when it finds a word, it can suddenly just pop into your head. Well, opponent seems to be blocking this G, but I think I have Igloo down here for 14. And I do. Fantastic. And the final score, 457 for opponent, 559 for me, a winning margin of 102 points, so a huge, huge win. Let's see what I missed. Wow, what an epic game. That was fantastic. Absolutely amazing stuff. So, opponents to go fast with Jolt. Phew, no missed bingo here. Topi, that was my play. Nice rack for opponent and a choice of bingos. And I come back with re-rising for 86. And, wow, stunning op options for opponent. Or stunning start generally for the game with three bingos on the board already and a fourth about to follow. So Epistacy is the only bingo, and Yipes K8 was the play I was on the brink of playing before I saw my bingo. My opponent plays Yug, it could have played Argufy, which is nice, in at, in the, at the top of column one. So, 
Well, I don't regard this as a missed bingo. Exedra's A3, making yeah and ups because I'm getting 52 points for X and Exedra's only scores 36 more points and blank ADER is worth more than 36. I think it's worth north of 40. So I like my play. Opponent scores 50 points and opponent did really well, not only spotting these bingos, tuniki and virgins, but just a relentless run of 40 and 50 point plays. Now I've drawn extremely well after, well, not really. I kept five, five massive tiles. I was, was thinking about epistasy, but I've just played X. So I kept five tiles and I've drawn well with the other two. I have a choice of bingos and Tyrand scores the most. So I have a slender lead. Opponent plays a board and my lead goes waved B10. Interesting. I don't know if that is the play. It does open up row, row A and the rack leave isn't fabulous. But it's nine more points than owed. I I still feel that Ode is a better play. Now opponent with the Q. And opponent never changes, so they have the Q with twenty odd tiles in the bag. So they play they play that for twenty nine. I play aim for thirty two. N eleven H E Ah, starting to the right of this triple letter square, just sticking HG in front of AIM scores 10 more points, as it would, but that does open up access to row O. And I quite liked the rack leave of EACH because of the CH synergy, so I'm happy with my play. A pretty grim rack for opponent, but 40 odd points for you. So super tight game, just 12 points between us. And I play Haven. I could have played Chevan or Cheven. Probably better plays shutting the door on row A on the left hand side. But I didn't do that, and that resulted in a sequence of moves which gave me the game. So opponent has QU. Could have played Quiner in row A. And instead plays haiku burning the u for fewer points i can only imagine that they overlooked quiner but a stroke of good fortune for me because i have well i have fast fancy but fancy end also good in the same spot and fancied one square to the left so Yep, I think this looks the best of the options. And it guaranteed the win. Two tiles in the bag. Opponent stuck with the queue. Plays boo. <gasps> oh my word. Look at this. Through the R of Virgins, Lemuroid for 64 points. Wow, missed bingo. Well done if you spotted that. Anagram of Moldia. I saw Moldia, didn't see its anagram. Played demo which is a long way behind. Dome, rather. Same letters as a demo. Opponent plays Chin, and I go out with Igloo for 14. So, what an epic game. It had absolutely everything. An electrifying start with four bingos on the board in the opening plays, and a wide open board, and a succession of very high-scoring non-bingos from opponents. So... Look at this for a score. Opponent scores 457 points and still loses by over 100. So super high scoring game and delighted to spot Fancied at the end, which secured the win. So absolutely amazing stuff. Many thanks to Opponent for a great battle. I hope you enjoyed watching that game. Like, comment and subscribe and I will see you next time.